What's up, degenerate gamblers? Mad Murrigan here for Cold Bear Sports. Right, not a bad day. A six to one winner and a six to four winner. Really, really good. And uh, yeah, a well advised six to four winner. And Sarah's verse getting it done at six to one for us. So, really, really happy with that and really proud of that. Our nap of the day in Medway looked like he was going to win for much of the day or, or much of the way, only to be ran out of it late on. A little bit unfortunate to be trapped a little wide throughout the duration of the race so definitely doesn't help like when you're on the all weather you don't want to be three or four wide you want to be as tight as you can be but look when you're drawn in 12 it's hard to get it all uh it's always hard to get a posse but anyway we move forward and uh yeah we take the positives two nice winners and uh yeah i hope uh some of you backed black bubble as i advised try and get that tree placed or the tree straight place bet in the first at Worcester so he was a big price last night around 14 to 1 he did go off fourth so I hope some of you tried for that three place straight bet and uh, yeah he uh, finished third so yeah I know he didn't get the each way but as advised the three place straight bet he did get right stay tuned keep following more winners to come please god as always so happy well very happy with the day overall a uh, couple of disappointing ones uh, our first each way selection in york really just uh, something completely wrong horse absolutely tailed off but you'll have days like that and uh, yeah big york handicaps always always tough right let's focus on the positive tomorrow few selections tomorrow again these are just daily selections tomorrow but i have some uh, good opinions and uh, yeah a bit of logic behind a few so always always exciting plus i was in touch with the money man he's selection in the dante so i'll give you him in a few minutes as well right one second let's start tomorrow in the earliest race i suppose right the one fifth Dean. this is an interesting race in Salisbury right superior force trained, trained by George Bohe a really really shrewd young man getting his horses to really really run well but what about the man in the saddle Ross Ryan world world class and this is a son of our dad and uh, yeah I'm expecting this horse to run well he's he, he cost a pretty penny there's a small little bit of money for him in the market. He's five to two. He's got a good draw in stall three. So in the 115 tomorrow, superior force for the George Bowie camp and Ross Ryan in the saddle, five to two. That's my first selection tomorrow. Then we'll move on, I suppose, to the next earliest race, which is the 140 in York. All right. The ground might go a little easy tomorrow. It's good to soft already. I think there's a bit of rain promise. Not a whole lot, but there still is a bit of rain. It could be a little easier and good. This is a sprinter I like. I'm going to give him another chance to prove that he's a good horse. And I think Jawal. Look, if good to soft should be okay. Jawal for me is a horse that definitely is a son of Bohemian Bounty. Uh, Callum Rodriguez in the saddle. And this is a six-year-old that definitely for me could be still very very good and i'm going to give him another chance each way tomorrow in the 140 at york joel eight to one so definitely a sprinter i want to keep on side still for now then let's move on and stick with york to 240 i'm going to tip up tom marquan's mount here johan johan likes a little bit of ease in the ground he had a really nice comeback in newbury and uh, in the spring mile and I liked everything about the run. I thought uh, definitely looked like it'll come on from the run. Looked really well before the race, but looked like it would definitely come on for the run. And I think it's definitely a horse. Seven furlongs at York, a little bit of dig in the ground. I think it might be its ideal conditions. Now, Matthew Flinders is in the same race. It's a horse I always liked, but on really good ground. I think Matthew Flinders is a very, very good horse. Definitely ahead of his mark. And definitely can step up. I know Matthew Flinders is a better horse than this company. But with cutting the ground, I'm prepared to take Johan and give him a big show at 17 to 2 each way. Right, let's move on from there to the 355 in Salisbury. Right, this is a very, very interesting runner. Evaluation. 
what a pedigree this has by Dubawi out of none other than Estimate and I really really just think stepping up to a mile and a half we're about to see hopefully the potential of evaluation the 355 in Salisbury around the 11 to 4 mark right then let's move on to the I think that's it for there right yeah the 405 in Clonmel Raven Rule, I give this a big each way shout. Daryl Keefe in the saddle, a really, really good rider. We have uh, the stable in good form. So 405 Clonmel, Raven Rule, a big each way shout in the first, I think it could be the first race, the 405 anyway. And then in the 820 at Newmarket, this could be a pretty good horse. Alabama boy, son of Atwad, 5-2 to two tomorrow. Could be very smart. Look, Atwal is having a brilliant time as a sire. This horse definitely looked pretty, pretty good in Haydock. And um, he's gone up £10, but you know what? He, he, he deserved it. He won well. He was dominant. He looked like a really, really uh, laid back sort. He got a dig in the belly and next thing he was a few lengths clear. So Alabama boy in the A20 to, to, to be able to handle the hike and prove he's a good horse. Right. Let's leave that there. And the money man got on the phone. He sobered up, dropped me gear up each way tomorrow in the Dante. And uh, that's his selection. He didn't say much about it. He said to me, gear up one point each way selection. Apparently, he's going to run well. Let's see if the money man is right. Okay, keep following. Great day again. Two winners tipped up and uh, place bet advised. And uh, yeah. Really, really happy as always. Stay following here, Cold Bear Sports, for a lot more content. So I'm just going to throw up quickly. If any follow me on Snapchat, it's Paddy M E R R eight six, and uh, I always throw a selection on there throughout the day. But I have given two selections against the field for the golf tomorrow. The A A T and T kicks off tomorrow on the PGA Tour. So have a little look at that they're on my snapchat and uh yeah have a go 25 to 1 the both of them will salatoris and mark liegeman against the field both 25 to 1 uh with paddy power eight places both 20 to 1 with boil sports paying 10 places each way so have a look at that and uh yeah follow me on snapchat for more uh golf tips and things like that or i might throw up a selection throughout the day on there and uh, we'll see but for now stick with us here we'll have golf tips coming on here and this summer we'll have lots of football tips as well from a very very shrewd judge kicking off for the euros all right the time for cotton is over thanks for the support smash that like button hit the subscribe and share the content more winners coming